So your fiber has just been installed and you can't wait to get online. But you still need to install your router and you have no idea what wire goes into which port and what you need to do to make it flood your home with sweet, sweet Wi-Fi. Don't stress, we've got you. Connecting your router is much easier than you think. First things first, plug your router in and make sure it's switched on. Then, connect it to your ONT with the Ethernet cable via the blue port in the back of the router. This will connect you to the internet. There are two ways to connect your router for setup, via cable or via Wi-Fi. Let's start with cable, it's the easiest. Simply connect your PC to any of the orange ports on the router with a LAN cable. If you prefer to use Wi-Fi, you need to check under your router for the Wi-Fi network name which may be called an SSID and the password or security key. These are the default login details for the network. On your device, find the network that matches the SSID on the bottom of your router and connect to it using the password. Now that you're connected, you need to log into your router's control panel. Open your browser and enter 192.168.0.1. You'll see this screen. The default username and password are both admin, all lowercase. You may want to change your Wi-Fi name so that it's easier to find. You'll see that your router actually has two Wi-Fi networks. The menu on the left lists both, wireless 5 gigahertz and wireless 2.4 gigahertz. Click on wireless 5 gigahertz and select basic settings. Rename your Wi-Fi network by editing wireless network name to whatever you'd like and click save when you're done and then do the same for 2.4 gigahertz network it's best not to make them the same name so that you can see them both on your devices now that you can find your network why don't you make it easier to connect to by changing the password to something more memorable click on wireless security on the left menu remove the text in the box next to wireless password and enter your new password be careful not to make any mistakes and make sure to click save at the bottom of the form when you're done. That's it. Now you're all set up to do what you love online. If you do get stuck, our support heroes are always ready to help. Just give us a call or chat to us online.